Now, this question is something very interesting and tricky. Let us see how fast we will solve. Okay? So, now here is the item and here is the price. Okay? So, pizza cost me rupees 23, then you have an apple which cost me rupees 8, then you have a burger which cost me rupees 15, you have a coke which cost me rupees 25 and you have an ice cream which cost me rupees 10. Okay? Now, you need to find out which of these statements are true. Okay? The first statement says, Rohan needs to pay rupee 40 to buy a coke and a pizza. Statement B says Ravi needs to pay rupees 23 to buy an apple and a burger. Option C says Ankita needs to pay rupees 30 to buy an apple and a pizza and option D says Parul needs to pay rupees 35 to buy a coke and a burger. Okay? So now, coming to the first one, Rohan needs to pay rupees 40 to buy a coke and a pizza. What is the value of a coke, children? It is 25, right? So 25 plus, and he wanted to buy a pizza. Pizza cost him rupees 23. So, 5 plus 3 is 8 and 2 plus 2 is 4. So, he needs to pay rupees 40 to buy a Coke and a pizza. Is it correct? No. Because only if he has 48 rupees, he can buy that. Otherwise, he cannot buy. So, which means that this is a false statement. Okay. Next one. Ravi needs to pay 23 rupees to buy an apple and a burger. So, what is the cost of an apple? The apple is 8 rupees and, and the cost of the burger is how much? 15, right? So, 15 plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. 1 plus 1 is 2. So, which means that it costs him rupees 23. And what is the question asking? Yes. So, this is a true statement. Option B is the true statement. Coming to the third one, Ankita needs to pay 30 rupees to buy an apple and a pizza. So the cost of an apple is how much? It is rupees 8. And what is the cost of the pizza? Cost of a pizza is 23. Right. So let us add here 23 plus 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, which means that it cost me rupees 31 and here they are asking that 
she pays me 30 rupees. So, again this is a false statement. Coming to the last one, Parul needs to pay 35 rupees to buy a Coke and a burger. So, what is the cost of a Coke? It is 25. And what is the cost of the burger? It is 15. Right. So, 25 plus 15. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. So, which means she has to give me 40 rupees and she is having 35 rupees with her. So, again this is a false statement. So, option B is only the right statement. Did you understand how to solve these type of problems? Shall we move to the next question? Now, you need to match the following. Okay. So, here it is list 1 and here it is list 2. The first one says rupee 2.50 plus 25 SA. Option B says rupee 35 point two five plus rupee two option C says rupee fifty plus rupee one point five zero and option D says rupee three point two zero plus fifty Okay, and this side it says rupee thirty seven point two five. The second one says rupee three point seven zero. Third one says rupee. 2.75 and fourth one says rupee 51.50. Okay, and the options are A1, B3, B2, B4, option B. A3, B1, C4, D2, A3, B4, C1, D2 and option D, A4, B1, C2 and D3. Okay. So, 2.50 plus 25 pies. 2.50 plus 25. So, how much? 5, 7, 2. Which means it is 2 rupee and 75 pies. Yes. Coming to the next one. The next one says... 35.25 plus 2 rupee. So, it becomes 37.25. Where is it? Yes. The next one says 50 plus 1.50. So, it becomes 51.50. This one. Okay. The next one says 3.20 plus 0 0.50 it becomes 3.70. Where is it? This one. So, which means my option is A3, B3, 
B1, C4 and D2. That is option B is my right answer. Clear? Was it fun doing it? Okay. So, here is your next question. Your next question says, Number of tennis balls and the cost. Okay. So, if the ball is 1, you need to find the value. If the ball is 3, the value is 9. If the ball is 6, the value is 18. If the ball is 9, it is 27 okay and if the ball is 12 then the val value is 36 so your options are question is what is the cost of one ball and your options are a 6 Option B, 1. Option C, 9. And option D, 3. So, can you tell me what is the answer? Cost of 1 tennis ball is something. 2 is 9 rupees, sorry, 3 is 9 rupees. 6 balls is 18. 9 balls is 27. And 12 balls is 36. So, what is being followed here children? Just see properly and tell me. Yes, they all are following the multiplication table of 3. Right? 3 into 3 is equals to 9. Similarly here, 6 into 3 is equals to 18. 9 into 3 is equals to 27. Similarly, 12 into 3 is equals to 36. So, what will come here then? Very good. Here also we need to multiply 3 into 1 which will give me the answer here 3. So, what is the value of 1 ball? Yes, option D. Value of 1 tennis ball is rupees 3. Got it? Shall we proceed with other questions? 